Rapper Mac Miller died yesterday at the age of 26 due to an apparent drug overdose in his Studio City home. He was found unresponsive in the afternoon. It sucks what happened to him. The music industry seems evil. You may think it's all fun, but not until something like this happens. Now you know I never cared for Mac Miller as a rapper. I never cared for his music either. His song, Nike's On My Feet, it has a smooth, relaxing, mesmerizing beat, though he pretty much raps about Nikes on his feet. There is his other song, Kool-Aid and Frozen Pizza. What is up with these titles? You know how some rappers have a title of a song, like, you know, it's that's a, a drink or some food, and you think that's what the song is about, but it's about something else, it's totally different, what they're rapping about. They could probably have a title about Kool-Aid and frozen pizza, but it's about like some drugs or whatever, or them getting high. And I'm sure the song uh, Kool-Aid and frozen pizza isn't actually about him rapping about frozen pizza and, and Kool-Aid. I mean, come on. But whatever. Matt Miller and Ariana Grande had a two-year relationship that ended earlier this year, but they still care for one another after the breakup. Ariana shared a deep connection with Mac, wishing him nothing but the best. Also supportive of his sobriety. The reason why they broke up was due to Mac's substance abuse. Ariana is deeply devastated and heartbroken over his death. She lost her idol Aretha Franklin last month. This month she lost Mac Miller. And, you know, some of her fans, some, um... Some of her fans and some trolls had pretty much went on Instagram and bashed her and accused her of killing Mac Miller. Like, she is the reason why Mac Miller has died. And she pretty much had to close all the comments on Instagram. It's like, come on, y'all. Now you guys think that it's Ariana's fault that Mac Miller has died? He, the reason why he's died is because of her? So what, people are probably saying to Ariana, it's your fault, Ariana, it's your fault, how could you, how could you, if you didn't break up with him, he'd still be alive right now. I hate you, Ariana, I hate you, how could you, it's all your fault, it's all your fault. Look, she still cared about the guy, she's heartbroken and deeply devastated about his death, she obviously cares. Look. She probably felt that if they would have continued their relationship and he was still doing the substance drug abuse, she probably maybe had a feeling that their relationship would have gone down south if he wasn't getting any better and his substance drug abuse was getting worse. Like the relationship wasn't going to go anywhere if he still had problems. So she figured maybe it was best to, instead of continue being in a relationship together, she just thought it was best to just wish him nothing but the best and just to be friends and continue supporting one another. I mean, that's if you think about it. I mean, it's not like she broke up with him and said, oh, screw you, drop dead, you're worth this piece of crap, you're a loser, I want nothing to do with you. You know? No, that, that wasn't the case with Ariana. You guys have got to give Ariana a break. Lay off, man. I mean, she's devastated, heartbroken over the loss of the guy. And then here you go making it worse by getting on her, saying it's her fault. Like I said, I never care for Mac Miller as a rapper. I never care for his music. But, you know, it's it's still sad what happened to the guy. You know? Hey, lace him up, lace him up, lace him up, lace him. Blue suede shoes stay crispy like bacon. Nikes on my feet make my cipher complete. Uh, I stay shining like the lights on the street in the night. Revis take me shopping when I'm up in New York. Hit the shoe store, go and cop a few more. You at the mall getting dinner at the food court. I'm in LA eating 22 course. Young boss, bitch, paper in my pocket. 